morning, everybody. I'm vlogging from the hotel, just woke up feeling absolutely shit. We are actually in the Philippines and I'm super excited because breakfast buffet is open right now. <laughs> and me and Selena are gonna head out. But I was like, let me vlog first. I didn't vlog at all yesterday because um, we spent 20 hours in the airport collectively and there was nothing that you missed aside from pain and agony. So I cut you guys the slack and now we're here for all the fun stuff. So let's do a room tour before we go for breakfast. All right, this is what you see when you walk in. Uh, you got the toilet to the right, which I really like because we have two separate showers, which is the coolest thing. There's Celine's bathroom, and then there's my bathroom. Yeah, we get our own shower, we get our own sink. Boom, light, mirror everywhere, perfect for makeup application. Like, you already see that I'm ready for this. And then in here is the closet that I'm hogging with my, with my shit. And then the cool part is separate twin beds as much as love sharing beds having your own bed is awesome because you just don't feel bad for the person that you're sleeping with you got hardwood flooring i have never ever seen that before and then arc light also got us a little goodie bag which i have no idea what's in here so let's see what the hair dye and then this is a canteen water canteen i think mango chocolate okay i fuck with mango chocolate oh more mangoes and then this is our view it just looks like a metropolis and that is a room tour. Now we're gonna go to the important part, breakfast. We've made it to the buffet. We have sat down and now we're gonna get some breakfast because all of us are absolutely starved and deprived of all energy. This breakfast was huge. They even have like dinner options, cereal for all the Americans out there. Um, they also have a milk dairy section. Oh my gosh. Wait, I might get one of those. They even have a section for your cult, which is actually crazy to me. Dumplings over here. Um, and then down here is even more stuff. We have curry, chapati, Sambar. Whoa, I have no idea what those are. This is, do this is crepe dosa. They're making something. Coconut chet. Oh, wait. Oh, it is dosa. I knew it. Yay. I'll get some of that, actually. And then more pastries. And I think that's basically a majority of the buffet. And I'm going to actually make a plate and I'll show you guys what I got. Fruit cup, orange juice, zucchini, bacon, spinach. Or not spinach. Oh, sausage. Waffle. That looks delicious. We have just finished getting ready, had breakfast, and now we're about to head out to go to a Jolly Bee Kids party, which I just have no idea what that means, but I'm very excited to eat some Jolly Bee though. Because if the ones in America are like a 9 out of 10, I can only imagine the ones in the actual Philippines are like a 15 out of 10. So I'm ready to get it going, eat some good ass Jolly Bee, and enjoy a kids party? I have no idea. We're about to find out though. The kids party, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Whose birthday is it? <laughs> oh my God. That is so adorable. <laughs> Happy birthday, bro. Guys, look at my hat. Also, they have Jolly Bee Funko Pops. Look at this. Look at these. Oh my God. This is awesome. A table of grown ass adults at a Jolly Bee. Watch a kid. Oh, it's this one. This is eighth birthday today. <laughs> Guys, it's any spaghetti. You're supposed to put the Play-Doh in the mold, and this is what I got. Let's all walk out our birthday. Celebrate our grown-ups. You want burger, chicken joy, fries? I want to be your chicken. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why chicken joy, sir? <laughs> because it's so crispy and flavorful. <laughs> oh. 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 We're going to spell the word child out. We start with the letter J. The letter J like this. Ready? One, two, three. J. <laughs> The guy after Tess looks so calm. Like, he's like, I've done this a million times. Jeremy. No,
It's time for a jolly meal. <laughs> Spaghetti, chicken wing, and tuna pie. I have never tried this. I've never seen this. I didn't even know this existed. We're going to give it a food review very soon. Man, this is very delicious. The tuna pie? Mm -hmm. To the Philippines and try a tuna pie. This is delicious. A delicious piece of chicken. We just ate all the skin off. It's delicious. With the gravy, it's gonna be a 15 out of 10. I know. This is the best birthday party ever. Thanks, Broden. You got it. I am now having a cheesy yum burger. Why is it pink? Huh? Pink? It's like a special sauce. What's the sauce in it? It's very, it's, it's pretty sweet. A standard burger. I give it eight out of ten. I'm gonna keep it real. But everything else was ten, and, ten and above. So, so not to the Philippines. Now we have the pie. I actually don't know if this is peach mango or ube. I'm gonna guess ube because it's a purple streak. Oh my god, it's hot hell! But is it good? Amazing. This shit slaps. Americans need to wake up. Y'all need to stop eating the apple pie shit, bro. Ube pie is where it's at. Ooh! Is this... This looks delicious. <laughs> Ew, don't say that. We are now having pandan soft serve. And it looks delicious. Where's the spoon? Okay. Wait, this is so yummy. said it looks like relish, and I, you know, I just can't get that image out of my head. All right. Trying it. Delicious. Maybe I just moved to Asia. Probably good shit is here. This is delicious. And it's probably cheaper than a regular vanilla soft serve. Mm -hmm. Oh! Who could it be? Mr. Young! Mr. Young!
My wish is that this is the best decade of my life to come. Yeah! There's no reason not to bring your children to a Jolly Bee Kids party. You don't have to decorate anything. The food's delicious. The entertainment's amazing. Just, just go to a Jolly Bee and just, just hire. This is awesome as egg. As a grown ass person, I had a lot of fun. I can only imagine how, how much fun kids have. We got gifts! Hetty Spaghetti and Jollibee! And I just took a picture with them. They're so amazing. I love them. Bye! <laughs> we are at the Mitsukoshi Mall. The ladies section is to the right. This is amazing. Do they think they have like a mini hair straightener somewhere? Period. Okay. Sorry. This motherfucker. So are you getting a haircut or a massage or what's going on? Damn! Yeah. Well, you know what? That's fine. I can wait 20 minutes for that. I'm decided to get my bangs trimmed, so I'm getting a quick bang trim at a salon. And it's already so cute, I love it. Finally back at the hotel after we had the little Jollibee kids party. That was something to behold. Basically, it was Broden's birthday party. There were two workers, Jollibee workers, that were basically hosting the entire event. And then all the mascots came out. We were playing a bunch of games and singing a bunch of songs for two hours. It was quite literally one of the best experiences I've ever had. And I feel like it healed some sort of inner child trauma that I had. And I'm just obsessed. Like Jollibee's in the Philippines is 10 times better than in America. And the customer service and the kids party really just did it for me. So we're gonna have to give that a 15 out of 10. Now I basically am just waiting to go downstairs before the DSG mixer, where we're just going to be talking to different people who are interested in like partnering with DSG and meeting other creators probably, and just kind of hanging out and stuff. So gonna put my best face forward and make sure Toast gets those sponsorships. So I'm gonna go head down to the lobby and meet everyone else. I think the girls are still getting their nails done. I just don't have the patience to do my nails. So I'm just chilling in my hotel room and also charging my phone. But yeah, I'm gonna go to the hotel lobby and then I will see you guys at the mixer. Hopefully it's not too, hopefully I can record it's not like too awkward, but we'll see. All right, bye. We have made it to the mixer. I don't know where we're at, but this is the place. Hello. We're in the red light district, Whoa. let's go. Yeah. That's where we're we at. are not, we're, we're not. Go. We're in the red light district. We're not. They have drinks named after us. Ooh, I, want, ooh, I wonder what mine is. Zambana 8 Rum Banana Chocolate Bitters Egg White. I have no idea what, if any drink enthusiasts know what this means. Please decipher this for me. This is adorable. Unboxing of the pig. Oh, oh there we go. <laughs> I think I can smell it. It smells delicious. Thank you, Toast, for the pig. <laughs> I can't believe it fit in that box. Yeah, same. Some guy on a motorcycle drove it all the way here. Oh my god. Oh. The source. Oh. That's crazy. Oh. Oh my god. It smells delicious. Oh my god. Wow. I know. Oh my god. That looks delicious. <laughs> Sorry, like rest in peace to that, but like, damn. <laughs> that looks amazing. Ooh. Come on now. Oh, it really is Filipino. Whoa. Oh, God. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Do you think this hurts the pig? Oh. I think he's okay. He's not crying. Mm. <gasps> Look at this. It looks delicious. Oh, my God. the lid on See, I just knew it was gonna be good. Like, the expectations are always high, and I feel like so far I've not been let down in the Philippines. Yummy. That is amazing. Wow. Then out of done. That's my dream. That's my dream. Where's the focus, hello? There we go. Perfect. <gasps> Whoa. That's mine. I think. 
Yeah, I think so. My drink's being made. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. What's that? It's a banana. Banana chips? Sweet, thank you. Yum. Trying my drink. Cheers, friends. Wow, that is surprisingly very smooth. Mm. I like my drink. Okay. Guys, now we're trying shisha mo. Boom. Mm. That, I love that. Mm. I have to move here. I have to. Mm. Oh my god. Yes. Yep. 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 I can test to make sure it's safe, guys. Don't worry. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. This is serious. Bone marrow with rice. Once again, expectations are reached. Bone marrow is delicious, just like butter. No, like this is so good. Like you ate. We're gonna try the red horn. Apparently it's beer mixed with gin, so it should be hella strong. Holy crap. What? All of it? All of it. I have to drink all of this? Okay, cheers. Oh, it just tastes like beer. I like it. We're going downstairs. Oh my god, the AC is amazing. <laughs> oh, this is so cool. Oh my god. Yeah, I, I'm just, so is this just like a... There's the bar. Oh, I see, I see. Yeah, this is cool. dragged out to one more bar and instead of going home at 10 somehow we came to 10 30 or 11 and i'm just I'm, I'm running on three hours of sleep man and i just i'm really fucking trying and i don't want to go anymore like i am a bitch i am a bitch your month is over in like two days okay yeah so i'm gonna relish in it and say i want to go home right now and act like i'm a total bitch <laughs> going into the second bar holy crap a disco ball and this is it <laughs> We're leaving. Well, the first group of people, and then the other group is leaving in 40 minutes. But I'm like, why just not go home now? You know what I mean? I'm ready. And I get to go. I get, and we get to shower. I want to shower. What's up, guys? Winter POV. These pussies are staying, and the the hardcore people are going home to take care of themselves because your body's a temple. Look at this traffic jam. No street light. No street light. They're driving on the wrong side of the road. <laughs> I know. They don't give a fuck. Feeling very president right now with these people yeah, escorting what? us. I could be fighting. They don't know. <laughs> Good morning. We are going to the event, the DSG event. Look, <gasps> and we even have an escort. Look at this guy. Okay, well, he disappeared, but. Just know that he was real. And I'll see you guys at the event because there's not much to do in the car for an hour. Okay, so we're getting our, we're putting on our mic. And I thought I'd vlog this process. Oh, do you want me to move my hair? Oh, no, you're okay. Thank you. Perfect. Ooh, done. All right, coming up on stage, let's welcome Truly Denson. Time to wear the blindfolds. <laughs> 
Okay. Oh, okay. Toast. All right. Tenzin, read the take it away. Okay. Yeah, that's great. It's Tenzin Ooh. and Toast. All right, the crowd reacts. Okay, here we go. 60 seconds on the clock. Team Tech and Lovers, go! but it's also kind of squishy, you know what I mean? That's the opposite <laughs> thing. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, but the top of it is is wet and feels like the inside of like a... A what? Um... <laughs> produce? Produce. Okay, it's spiky, firm, it's but soft. It's my hand soft. Yeah, spiky, is, is it firm, like a uh, Is it like a fruit? It feels, there's so, the, there's an outer case that's like hard and spiky and the, I think the inside that I'm touching on the top is really squishy and... Oh, you're touching it from the top. You're going inside from the top. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I don't know where we're going anymore. Um, yeah, it feels... What is, it, what is smell like? Wait, can I, can we do smell too? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 10 seconds. Yeah. <laughs> it's a very pungent fruit smell. Okay, okay. I got Three, it. Okay. Two. Alright. One. Okay. It's... Uh, and cut open. Oh! Can we check? Okay. Crowd? Wow, did they get it right? <laughs> Two points for Team Second Lovers. Wow. That's very specific, too. Cut open. Durian, Durian. cut open. Wow, good, good description. Very good job. It feels Tenzin. like those were just playing Among Us. Kind of knows the imposter. We need to stop sleeping. We need to stop sleeping on Southeast Asia. Like, the Philippines is amazing. I just, I've been wanting to come here, but it's one of those things where I was like, well, it'll probably never happen, but now we're here, and I love it, and I want to come back. And I want you guys to write my pronunciation. Salamat sa iyong support. Does that yeah! make sense? Yeah! <laughs> Once again, a round of applause to DFG! Alright you guys, um, I'd like to request you to be here. Let's take a selfie with the whole crowd. Ah, it's a video! Once again, a round of applause to DSG! We just got done with the meet and greet. It was supposed to be an hour and a half. It was supposed to end at like 4, and it's like 7.30, and the second group just went on. So, I mean, it was worth it. The fans, you guys are amazing. Everyone is so sweet here, and I just had such a great time. It didn't even feel like two and a half. It didn't even feel like two hours. It was just like constantly like, oh, hi, and then taking a picture and talking, and it was just an amazing experience. And now we're going to probably head back to the hotel because the other group is going to take a while, and there's no internet here, so like we're trying to get out. And then I don't know where the night will take us, but well, the event was a success, and it was a very humbling and inspiring experience. And I just want to say thank you to all the Filipino fans, wait, Fili Filipino and Filipina fans that came out today and supported a DSG and everybody. Uh, thank you from the bottom of my heart. And I'm excited to see what we're doing tonight. Uh, I just feel, I just feel really content right now. So, and hopefully we get more vlog footage of what it's like in the Philippines. Oh, no, it's delicious. We had a sherry, had chicken broth, and oh, that smells good. sauce. For the condiments, we have your ginger sauce, we have chili sauce, and sweet sauce. Mm. And I believe the order is complete. Thank, Thank you. you. Would it be okay to present the bill? Mm -hmm. I ordered a buco pandan. I have no idea what it is. I'm gonna try it though. Taste test. I look musty. <laughs> oh, I oh, I just slipped my phone. Yeah, I mean, it's just good. I, I'm i sorry, I don't know what else to say, but aside from that, it's good, it's creamy. I love pandan. I think I'm a, I'm a new profound pandan fan now. Love the Philippines. That's amazing. <laughs> I love it, holy what? fuck. Oh my God, Tenzin and I ordered food because we got back and we're 10 out of 10. tired. We're going to the club. It's 1 a.m. And our flight's at 8 a.m. Or not 8 a.m. We have to wake up at 8 a.m. and leave the hotel by 8 a.m. And honestly, I can't, I couldn't tell you how we got here, but we're going, so let's get it.
We're back from the club and I almost lost my phone in the car. And I'm really fucked up off one shot of tequila. And we have to wake up in four hours to catch our flight to Boracay. And that basically sums up what happened in Manila. And I'm whispering because Celine's sleeping. This Benadryl is getting to me and I must go to bed. My skin looks like shit because I've been wearing my makeup for like 18 plus hours every day. But it's been worth it. It's been real Manila. And I will see you guys on a nice beach with my friends. Probably drinking a lot, so cheers to adulthood. Mom, you're in Nepal, and I'm here. So how do you feel about that? How do you feel? She's ziplining in the mountains too, by the way. So I'm just like, she's probably having a lot more fun than I am right now. Wow. Oh yeah. I'm here to continue your vlog. We ordered a mango sorbet and it's arrived, but my camera's broken, so sorry for the beeping. Super creamy. Almost like gelatinous, how creamy that shit is. That's all I have to say. Sleeping beauty. <laughs> Sean fell asleep before the party started. Greetings, human beings. Today is the last day of us being in the Philippines, like a full day. And I am just not feeling very good. And on top of that, they're going on a yacht and I get seasick pretty easily. So I was like, fuck that. I'm just gonna stay in my hotel room and drink some wine. Ugh. I fucking hate alcohol. I've just come to terms that I'm just not an alcohol drinker. Wine I fuck with. But aside from that, I absolutely hate all kinds of alcohol. I've tried so many drinks this trip, hate them all. Oh, it just tastes like beer. It tastes like beer. I like it. But, um, you know, instead of vlogging and whatnot, I thought I'd just relax and kind of do a, like a, a wind down moment and just say that the Philippines has been absolutely amazing. I was already feeling pretty motivated to do content this year. I didn't realize I want to do content for my Asian viewers. I'm a little tipsy already, so I don't know if I'm gonna be making a lot of sense, but it just really motivated me to be a lot better and realize that there's so many people that really just love you. You love me more than my parents. And that inspired me because now I'm gonna become a morning streamer. I'm gonna work on it, I really will. I wanna be a morning streamer so I can catch like late night Asia, I can catch I guess early morning NA, but like, who gives a fuck? Um, I wanna try to see if I can stream a lot earlier because I think that will also just make me happy in general. Oh my God, the sunburn on my head. Do you see the discoloration on my fucking forehead? That's sunburn, baby. And my nose too. But this trip has taught me a lot and I it made me realize that I wanna work really hard. You know what I mean? Just having that support is just so crazy to me. And I just am feeling so inspired and so grateful that I wanna do more. I wanna do more for myself and I wanna do more for you guys. So that's what I've been kind of thinking about today. I'm just thinking about, I've literally been like planning like what I wanna do when I come back. First of all, I gotta do Clove. We gotta play Clove, I'm so excited. I love me some Valorant. Maybe some Tekken 8, I don't know. And then also there's a Stardew Valley update, like one of the biggest updates in forever I'm so excited about. I think I'm kind of just like thinking about my life and realizing what I wanna do and like what path I wanna take. And I think this trip has made me see things a little bit clearer. And I hope maybe you guys will be able to see that for yourself too. Yeah, I absolutely 
enjoyed the Philippines. Like, I'm not even trying to play this up for the camera. Like, genuinely, if I could come back to anywhere in Asia, I've been to Japan, I've been to Korea, I've been to India. I would come back to the Philippines first. I really would. The people here are amazing. The culture here is amazing. I resonate with a lot of just the culture, really. I've just never met such wonderful, beautiful people ever in my life like that. Like, I really haven't. So thank you guys for making this trip absolutely unforgettable. I will always do things <sighs> to honor like our Asian viewers and everyone else around the world because international fans are slept on and I want you guys to be commemorated and I want to be able to do content for you guys more. So yeah, that's really about it. Um, I have just been feeling so inspired and just so motivated now. Like I have more that I want to work towards, you know what I mean? So. Thank you guys for that. And thank you for igniting that passion within me, I guess. <laughs> um, yeah, I really had a great time in the Philippines. This probably won't be like the end of the vlog. It'll probably be like, oh, we're leaving Boracay, you know what I mean? But I just wanted to have a little heart to heart and say thank you guys. So yeah. <laughs> so we're just gonna do the outro in my bed. I mean, I basically said everything that I wanted to say when I was in, when I was wine drunk in, in my hotel room. Like, it, the trip's been amazing. I'm blessed to be alive and living. And I'm going to work even harder for everybody who's been supporting. So expect a lot more. I'm going to do a David Dobrik outro. I don't even know if he does this outro, but I always see people do it. So Lux, feel free to cue the music. And we're out of here. <laughs>